community coming together to celebrate the life of an eighth grade girl who was found shot to death in her house on Monday. KTK's Mai Owens right now live in studio to tell us how Winona Middle School is mourning the loss of Olivia Monaguro. That's right, Neil. When Olivia wasn't in class yesterday morning, the school became worried trying to get in contact with family. And when they learned what happened inside of the Monte Aguro house, teachers couldn't believe it. Through the gates of Winona Middle School, emotions can be felt down the halls. Shocked, puzzled, confused, very heartbreaking. I'm very puzzled by this. She was um, extremely happy in class. Feelings when Patricia Harrison found out one of her students was dead. They're my babies. You have to get to know them, their personalities, and they get to know your personalities, and very protective of my kids. So this, this, this was very difficult. A scholar, basketball player, band member. She was very motivated. She played clarinet, and she was, uh, she made the all-region band, and she had her music for a solo picked out for next year. Sheet music selected, a clarinet waiting in her chair where Olivia would play her heart out. Well, she always liked the most challenging clarinet parts that I could find. Of course, you know, she was kind of on a higher level than everyone else, so. Through the gates behind me is an entire community still in shock that one of their own is now gone. This is, this is a, a girl who uh, is, is so well liked. I mean, she's, she's one of those um, students that, you know, hey, uh, you would even want to adopt. McDonald has been principal for two years here, and he says this is the first time he's lost a student. It's so difficult to process because Olivia was, was such a bright spot on our campus. A bright spot shining in the halls of Winona Middle School. Now the Smith County Sheriff's Office has identified Olivia's parents as 47-year-old Karen Monteagudo and 55-year-old Vincent Monteagudo, who were also found shot inside the home. Now Winona ISD will have additional counselors available to students for the rest of the week. Reporting live in studio, Mayo and KTK News.